Hey guys, and welcome back to Can Code. Today we are on part 24 of our shooter game, and today what I thought we were gonna do is make kind of like a boss, make like a bigger enemy that comes around a little bit, um, but it's just really big and harder to defeat. So let's just do that. So we're first just gonna make make one, and I don't know how many lives I'll give it. Probably a few. Okay, here we go. I've got eight different costumes because I want him to have eight different lives. So that's what it's going to look like. He's going to be quite big. He's going to go a lot slower, but he's going to be a lot more powerful. So uh, we can just code him in. So we're just going to have to go to the right over here and then we're going to have to come over here and we're going to have to choose how what what the chances are that it comes on actually right here is when I start to clone is where we decide what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna change this to 100 so it is from 1 to 100 and we will say if it is above so originally we had this one if it is greater than 1 after it's been greater than 3 so if it's greater than 1 it could be one or two, so 20% chance for this strong guy. So, we'll say if the enemy type is greater than 79, then we can take out all of these guys because we'll know that this is the normal, this is the fast, this is the strong, and then this is the surprise one. So, if it's greater than 79, then it is a strong guy. Um, you know, maybe if, maybe we'll do 84 like that, and then we'll say if it's greater than um, so that's 15. So 15% chance for that one. We'll say a 15% chance for the fast guy. So. Uh, so 85 and then so if it's greater than 69 so if it's greater than 69 then it's gonna be the fast guy we will do that and then we will say so that it, it's if it's 50 and then if it's greater than I uh, will say that there will be a 10% uh, chance for the surprise guys so these two have a 15% chance. Actually, maybe this one will have 64, so it'll be a 20% chance. The surprise guy will be a 5% chance. Uh, so that it will be... 5% chance will be... Greater than 59. Then it will do the surprise guy. And then the normal guy, it will do... Otherwise. So it'll be a 60% chance for the normal. But... We will actually add another if statement, and we're going to say if, and we're going to put an else, uh, we'll put that in the else, and we'll put this here, and we'll say there will be a 2% chance for the big guy, so if we have a 2% chance, it would be, if it's greater than 57, I guess, if it's greater than 57, or maybe 56, we'll say, then we will do the strong, uh, the, uh, big guy, so big, set the enemy lives to eight, and all that, but we'll say only if, we'll have another if else, surrounding this, and then the else, we will put another one of this normal guys, but in the if, it'll say if it, um, if the wave is greater than, uh, nine, The wave is greater than nine, 
Maybe we'll make it come on a little earlier. Maybe like at wave seven, maybe six. So wave six, so if it's greater than five, okay, we'll do that. Then we'll do big. So set the enemy lives to eight, and then we gotta change each of these parameters. So the first one, what is the first one? I think it's the speed. So we'll make it go at like 1.5 maybe. The next one is the amount of lives it, no, it's not the amount of lives it has, it's the amount of coins you get if you kill it. So, how many coins should we get? I would say maybe like, the most we're getting is from the big guy right now, and the big guy is giving us three coins. So this guy maybe will give us 20 coins, or maybe like 15 coins, so that's still a lot. So I'll add 15 right here. And then we're going to say here, purple, and then the, la the last parameter is the uh, amount of lives it takes away if it touches you. And we have 40 lives, so maybe it'll take away like 10, because we do not want it to touch us. So that'll be good. Okay, but now we gotta go to the enemy stain. And we gotta make a stain for it. So, go here and call this purple the same spelling okay that's nice all right now we'll just have to see if it works I don't know if there's anything else we need to add to it but we'll just see All right, we're on wave six. So now, oh, oh my goodness, oh, okay. So I think it's working, but it's the probability that's coming seems to be off. It could be working and it just seems, and it just had like a chance of like a one in one million, but I have a feeling that probability was off a lot because that's not supposed to happen. Like, now it doesn't seem like they're coming, so that could have just been, like, a chance of a one in one million. Like, that could have just been, like, a super rare occurrence, but usually rare occurrences don't happen like that. But like I said, usual, so we don't know. They should be coming. Okay, there we go, one more. Alright, that seems pretty good. I think it could have been that that was just a super incredibly rare... Wait a minute. It's doing it again, though. Not really the same way. It's less, but... If it touches me, I'm dead, probably. Oh, it did touch me. Oh, my goodness. Uh-oh. Let's look at the probability again, just to make sure it's right. So, if we go to the enemies, we see if it's if it's greater than 59, then do that. So, now, if it's not greater than 59, then it's going to say if it's greater than 56. If the wave is, if it's greater than 56, that's not a very high chance. So, I'm pretty sure, because that is in the else, I'm pretty sure that was just an insanely rare occurrence. But I don't know why it happened like that, like in kind of like in groups. I think that's just a chance, but uh, that's the hard thing about coding with chance. It's like you don't really know if it's working or not necessarily. Sometimes you do, but um, if it does not seem like it's working, you don't know it could be. But anyway, one thing that I saw here is that in the collectibles, when I got a health bar thing, I collected it one time when I had almost full lives. And it went red and then worked. So, uh, what the problem is, is it was changing the player lives until it got past where it was supposed to, and it reset to completely dead, and then it set it back afterwards. So, what we'll do is we'll add, we'll take this if statement out, and we will add it inside the repeat block. So, it's gonna be checking this every time. Okay, um, now we can just try this out again, I guess. Okay, there we go. That uh, life bar thing is working now. 
they don't seem to be coming that much at all, so I'm gonna make the probability slightly higher, I'm gonna just make it like 55, that's it. But they do seem to be coming in groups, which is a little bit strange. I want to see if the enemy type, it is for this sprite only, which means that that shouldn't be happening, but it could just be probability, I, I don't know. Usually if it happens like all the time, then it's not, it's not happening all the time, so I don't think it is, but the way it seemed to work and everything, so. Real quick, one thing I'm going to do is that you can, there is a little bit of a glitch, uh, it's kind of a glitch that I kind of like to use sometimes, but kind of in your first, during the first wave, or any wave really, if you just wait till there's just one guy left in that wave, he has to die before the next wave comes. So you can just run away from him forever, and then just like wait for collectibles to come up, and then just collect those collectibles, uh, and just keep running. Especially if the guy is a one of those slower guys, it's like a really easy way to just get free stuff. And I don't think that, we won't want that in the finished product. So it's fine right now, but I was going to want to change it eventually. So I guess right now, why not right now? So what we're going to do is we're, we're, it's waiting for this to happen. But I'm going to say we'll wait for that to happen or we'll just wait till after everybody spawns. Oh my goodness. We'll wait for this to happen, or... Oh my goodness. We'll wait for that to happen, or what we'll do is we will wait for the timer to get greater than a number. So how we'll reset the timer right before that, and we'll say, how many seconds, once the last guy spawns, how many seconds before it just automatically goes? And we can say, um... We'll say like 5 seconds or something, if it's greater than... Or 4.0001 then it will start anyway if you've not killed a guy already. So I think that's fine. That will work. But the problem with this is that it deletes all of the guys, but there's still a guy to die. So he'll die afterwards, and it will add it to the dead guys afterwards. So what we'll need to do is we'll need to create another variable. We'll call this extra guys. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say we will set the extra guys to equal this we will say uh, the length of dead guys minus this um, but we will not subtract one from it so this is what it's supposed to be and then we have the length of dead guys so we will subtract this number um, and add that to extra guys originally we'll say extra guys uh, will be equal to uh, we'll set extra guys to zero at the beginning um, but then it will set it to that then here it will say repeat this plus we'll need to add I accidentally clicked the check bar box on I I don't know why on accident okay uh, repeat this plus wait actually this we can leave um, here we're gonna say once it waits it's gonna wait for this to be greater than that uh, this but we're also going to add a number to it and this number is going to be we'll add this right there uh, it's going to be extra guys so it needs to wait till extra guys um, happens and so wait till the length of dead guys minus the round this so wait until this is greater once this is greater uh, then it will just subtract it and it should just equal zero so that should work but it's gonna be hard to test it but we can just try One, two, three, four. So the wave is just going anyways. And so that works. But then we have to make sure that it's still working. And it's going to the next wave before it finishes, which is not really what we want. 
it's just going immediately. It's supposed to wait extra time and then add extra guys. We will have dead guys here and then I will also have extra guys here so I can see them and we will see what the what's happening. There we go. Now one, two, three, four, and it just goes. Alright, it says the extra guys is equal to minus one, which is not what we want. So it needs to set the length of dead guys minus the amount of guys that are supposed to go. So the amount of guys that are supposed to go, it um, subtracts the length of dead guys. Okay, so I think what we need to do is we need to add this round here and the length of dead guys uh, over there. So that looks like it could be the problem. It's first of all not setting it, setting extra guys to zero at the beginning, which is a little bit confusing. Oh, I'm setting enemy type to zero, so we need to set extra guys to zero. Okay, whoops. What's it supposed to happen? So now there's one extra guy. Okay, okay, now extra guy is minus one. Um, what we need to do, we need to say that if this is true, then what we need to do is we need to set the extra guys to zero. And we'll add that right after that. I do not know if this is going to work, but... Okay, one extra guy, so that seems to be working. Okay, that seems to be working. And it set extra guys to zero, so... Let's see. So it seems like the last guy spawned, so it, now it's going to go, and now it says four extra guys, which should, should now make it so that, now it's next wave. Okay, that seems to be working pretty well. So now, basically, it's the exact same thing, except for the fact that you must, you, you can't just like let one guy, the last guy, follow you, because if you just let the last guy follow you, or the last couple guys, it's just gonna go to the next wave anyway. So, that should work. This video is probably a little bit longer than normal, so sorry about that, but I hope your game is really coming together, and I will see you in the next video. Whoa, that was a really long video. Thank you guys for watching it fully till the end, and I hope you guys are really learning a lot from these videos. Please remember to subscribe, and I will see you next time.